Come on in and welcome to my home. Today we are making what I told you we would make. We are making a beer pizza dough. This is a wonderful beer pizza dough and I'm using my own homemade beer. If you want to see me try to make homemade beer, because this was the first time that I made it, let me know down in the comments and we can go on this whole homemade beer experience. But if not, let's try this pizza dough. It is really simple. One cup of warm beer, and this is nice and warm beer. Then I add one tablespoon of sugar, give it a nice little stir, one tablespoon of active dry yeast. We are going to sit this off to the side and let it bloom or you know bubble up for about 10 minutes. Our beer mixture has set and now it's all nice and foamy. We're going to pour it into the bowl. You can really smell the beer. Now this is one of those interesting things where if you want to add herbs or seasonings right now you can but you do not have to. To that I'm going to add one quarter of a cup of olive oil. You can use regular oil, it is up to you. Give this a little stir. Then depending upon your day, oh wow I can really smell the beer. Depending upon your day it's going to be how much flour you add. I have three cups to start off with. I'm going to add most of that in there and slowly stir it around. Once it's mostly incorporated we're going to add a pinch of sea salt. It already smells so good. Now I'm going to add some more flour. I already have my board or my uh, pad, silicone pad, lightly floured. I do have extra flour just in case. Now I'm going to drop that on the board, lightly flour my hands, and then knead this until it is nice, smooth, and elastic probably going to have to add more flour to it. The amount of flour is going to depend upon your day and how much moisture there is in the air. If you want to make just regular pizza dough without the beer, you can click the eye in the sky, it will take you to the regular pizza dough. If your dough starts to get sticky while you're kneading it, flour your hands and keep going. After about 10 minutes you'll have a nice smooth dough. Then we're going to put it into a bowl I have a nice greased bowl, bigger than what I need. Then I'm going to cover it with a cloth and let it uh, raise for about an hour. Our pizza dough has risen, looks great. I'm going to punch it down just a bit, sprinkle a little flour on top. Now, I know that I'm going to make this just a free form pizza. So on my mat, I'm just going to start rolling it out with my hands, flipping it over every once in a while sprinkling some more flour on top. You can definitely smell the beer in this. Since we know we're going for a rustic look, it doesn't have to be perfect. I've got my pan. Move this off to the side. It is lightly greased, then I'm going to take some cornmeal, lightly sprinkle it over the pan, just like a real pizza. Take this and place it onto my pan, hopefully easily. There we go. Correct any problems that happen. Now I'm going to cover it and let this raise for about 30 minutes. Our pizza is done raising. I'm going to pat mine down just one last time. All right, now that all the air bubbles are out, we are going to put it into the oven. You're going to want to bake that for about 10 to 15 minutes. Not all the way done because you're going to be topping this with other things and then baking it the rest of the way. So we've got that all covered. Our beer pizza dough is right out of the oven. It is ready to be topped with your favorite ingredients. Now remember, this is not cooked all the way through because once you put your ingredients on, you're still going to cook it more and it will cook all the way through. Oh, it's still warm and everything. It smells so good and oh, oh my gosh, these beer pizza crusts are wonderful. Now if you're saying you don't want a thick crust like this, all you'd have to do is roll it out thinner and that way you'd get a thinner crust. Uh, it can be topped off with anything. If you want to use our pasta sauce, you can click the eye in the sky and you can use that sauce to make your own uh, pizza sauce. Now if you'd like to learn how to make a specific pizza sauce, and I have a couple pizza sauce I can teach you, but you need to let me know down in the comments and I can teach you how to make your own pizza sauce. It really is so, so simple. If this is your first time here, remember to subscribe. Every Tuesday is a recipe. And if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on social media at CM Coleman Home. 
don't forget, you know, this is one of those things where you don't have to go out to have pizza all the time. You can make it yourself because like I always say, why buy it when you can make it yourself?